I'm Sharon Jurd and welcome to my Biz Blitz video and today I want to talk to you about doing what it takes. Firstly, let me ask you the question, will you do whatever it takes to build your business and have the life that you've dreamt about? If the answer is yes, then what will it take? Are you prepared to do whatever it takes? And you go, yes, but then it's like, well, what is it going to take? It's going to take some self-discipline, it's going to take some time, it's going to take some energy, possibly some money, you know. So what is it that you will do to make sure your business is a success? And I'm not talking about working 120 hours a week, um, but you may have to work some hours. You know, I speak to some people, you know, who are wanting to become coaches and they go, oh, I'm spending about two hours a day on my business that's not enough you know we all have this dream we've all been sold into the four four hour work week work in your pajamas at home you know living in the life but that's not real especially when you're starting out so let's start by going what will it take for me to grow my business write that list down and then write a list of what aren't you prepared to do you know, I'm not talking about breaking the law, right? But some people go, well, look, I can't work after 3 p.m. because I get my children and that's not negotiable. Okay, so if you can't work after 3 and you can only work after 10 and plus you've got school duties and other things going on during the 9 to 3, then possibly the growth and the amount of income you're about to earn is lessened. And I'm not just picking on parents here. Some people have other commitments in their lives as well. But it's a really great example of going, well, what am I not prepared to do? You know, I'm not prepared to work on weekends. I'm not prepared to work at nights. I'm not prepared to work in the mornings. What is it for you? Because this will affect the momentum you build in your income and lifestyle. And I'm not judging anyone. It's up to you what they are which is what determines the pace that you, you will grow at. The, but the thing that I say is, you know, uh, you, you've probably heard that saying, don't stop when you're tired, stop when you're done. I like this saying because some days you get tired. Some days I'm in my office and I'm like, I don't want to do this. You know, I just want to have a lay down. I, and I start looking for things to distract me from doing what I should be doing. Now I'm telling you, this will pass. You'll have times when you feel tired. And I'm not saying you shouldn't take time out for your own health and well-being, but on a normal week or day, you know, you will feel tired. But I'm telling you, if you get busy, get excited about something, change it up, have a cup of tea, have a break, and then get stuck back into it, that, that lethargic tiredness, it, you know, will will subside and will pass. So don't think, oh, I'm tired, I'm packing it in. It's too hard, I'm not doing my business anymore. You know, I'm trying to get to this event and the logistics are just too hard for me. I'm going to throw my hands in the air. What is it that you will do to make it happen? Now, I run a three-day Grow You Coaching Biz workshop here on the Gold Coast. And I have some people say, no, three days. You know, and I've got to travel to the Gold Coast. I'm telling you, I've done travel all around the world for training. I've done 30 days plus, you know, in one training, interstate, away from my home. You know, and I say three days out of your life to change your um, total business and therefore life, earning more money, having more clients, having the business that you wanted to, you will do anything to get there. You will make sure you've cleared the dates. You'll make sure you've got on a payment plan if need be. You know, you'll make all logistics work. Everybody else in that room has also had logistical management to get there for three days. You know, so it's not unusual for people to have to manage their time, their businesses, their families to get to an event. But they go, if this is what it takes, I'm there, I'm in. And they take that uh, opportunity to attend those three days. So if you want to spend three days with me here on the Gold Coast, my Grow Your Coaching Biz, because you want to grow your business, um, grow your coaching, get more clients, get more money, 
then come and spend three days with me here on the Gold Coast. The links will be around this video somewhere um, and book you to get, get on a payment plan, do what you need to do uh, to make sure you get there in 2020. So they're my points today. What will it take to grow your business? It might be that you need to attend a uh, you know training, upskill, learn more skills, learn ways of marketing yourself and getting clients. And then what aren't you prepared to do? Make sure you know what you're not prepared to do and then don't stop when you're tired. Make sure you keep going until it's done. I'm Sharon Jude. Thank you for watching my video today. If it's been of value, please share it with your family, friends and colleagues because I want to help as many people as I can and I hope to see you at my event soon.